Hi, this is Jen with Making the Photo. Recently, Midjourney version 4 went live. It's not just 10 times better than version 3, it's like 100 times better than version 3. If you haven't been using version 4 in beta testing, this is a huge shakeup in terms of style. And that's even before we get to the style commands in Midjourney version 4. Yes, you heard me, style commands. In this video, I'll show you how to use both the stylize and the style commands in version 4. And I'll show you a super secret style command that will blow your mind. It's like Midjourney has been cursed. Prompt parameters have changed quite a bit in version 4. Parameters are the dash dash commands at the end of your prompt that change the look of your image or how Midjourney interprets your prompt. Some commands like IW, image weight, and tile don't work in version 4. Other commands like stylize have seen a big change. Stylize tells Midjourney how much of the Midjourney aesthetic you want. In version 3, stylize ranged from 625 to 60,000. A lower style number told Midjourney not to put any Midjourney styling in your image, and this tended to create simpler images. On the other end, you're telling Midjourney to just go for it. Make something beautiful even if it means ignoring your prompt a bit. The default stylize value in version 3 is 2500. In version 3, the higher stylized numbers usually favored the teal and orange color scheme and Midjourney's favorite abstract patterns or mountain scenes. In Midjourney version 4, stylize is both a value of Midjourney beauty and a measure of detail. And the changes are a little bit more subtle. The style has changed to a scale of 0 to 1000, with the default being 100. Lower stylized values tend to be simpler images. At 1000, you'll get more intricate detail and the images are beautifully stylized, but Midjourney version 4 is a little bit more faithful to your prompt. Stylize is a measure of beauty and detail. So what is style? The style command isn't actually new. You can prompt for style in version 3. Type dash dash style and follow the command with a number. There seems an infinite number of style values, but I'm not sure it makes much of a difference. But the style command in version 4 is very different. You can select either Style 4A or Style 4B. Style 4B is the current style uh -huh. value of version 4, so Style 4B is the default. So what is Style 4A? If you were one of the early testers of Midjourney version 4, you know that the Midjourney team upgraded version 4 and the style changed during testing. It changed a lot. The second iteration of version 4 was a big step up from version 4.1, but not everyone was thrilled with the change. It changed the look of your image and how you prompted. For those of you who missed the first release of Midjourney version 4, you're in luck. You can now prompt for it using the dash dash style 4a command. Here's an image I made for my video introducing version 4. Now here's the same image with the same seed made with the current version 4. It's a very different image. But if I add dash dash style 4a, I'm back to the style of the original. The style parameter works with other v4 parameters, such as aspect ratio, stylize, chaos, quality, seed, uplight, and up beta. So you can mix style with stylize, though the stylize command in style 4a is very unpredictable to say the least. But that's not all. It's time for a little secret Easter egg tucked away in the mid-journey style parameter. Shh, not many people know there's another style. Let's go back to my butterfly prompt and I'll show you. Here's the butterfly in style 4A and 4B. And now, a very different style. This style is very grainy and low res, and the image has less coherency. That means that parts of the image don't necessarily go together. It's like turning up chaos to the max. But what is this? How do you get this style? There's no way you're going to guess it, so I'm just going to have to show you. Dash dash style cursed. With style cursed, you're going to get a very different sort of mid-journey image. It's not the look for everyone, but some creators are going to love this look. Style cursed is very different from the regular mid-journey aesthetic. It's like someone reached into mid-journey and flipped the magic switch to the dark side. You're not going to get pretty pics with this style. You're going to get dark, gritty, surreal slices with a lot of texture. The results can be unpredictable and not always completely sane. Lots of the images have text, so dash dash no text is probably the way to go. If the style is too strong straight out of the box, try remixing into it. Make a variation and add dash dash style cursed. 
This is a brand new mid-journey style to explore. If you're watching this video, you're among the first to know about it. You're the first to explore. What this style does is largely unknown. You'll have to just dive in and discover what it can do. Let us know how the cursed mid-journey style behaves in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.